After watching the documentary, The Triumph of the Nerds, I have learned that there are many people that have made a huge impact on our world today, such as Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak creating Apple, Bill Gates and Paul Allen creating Microsoft, but by far one, the one with the most impact, the founder of MITS, Ed Roberts. Ed Roberts was an ex-Air Force officer from Georgia who created the first successful personal computer in 1975, the MITS Altair. 8800. He was the founder of MITS, in which started out as a calculator company in Albuquerque, New Mexico. MITS was located in an old building and was going bankrupt because no one was buying calculators. They needed $65,000 to stay afloat, so they went to the bank and got a loan. At the bank, he was asked how many machines he thinks he would sell, in which he responded with 800. In this response to the person, Roberts was optimistic about his new computer, the Altair 8800. The Altair 8800 was made in the garage of Ed Roberts' best friend, Eddie Carey, who was present at the time of the creation of the Altair 8800. Eddie Carey tells the viewers that Ed, Ed Roberts always seemed to have a vision for the future, which goes to show how much he believed in his own work ethic and ideas. At the time, no one had access to computers, and after the Altair was made, people were amazed with being able to have your own computer in which you could do whatever you wanted with and wherever. After it was introduced, they were selling like crazy, getting 250 orders a day. They were affordable enough for college students, even on a budget, to buy one and use it for their work. The Altair wasn't even a computer, but more of a computer kit meaning you had to assemble it yourself and it didn't work all the time. However, they still managed to sell hundreds of them. Three years of selling and 40,000 computers after the first Altair, Ed Roberts sold his company in 1978 and started his new life in Georgia where he trained as a doctor. Ed Roberts and Mitz certainly did not get enough credit for the impact of this community. But... He worked hard at what he did and loved doing it. Even though he didn't stick it out on the, in the field of work, he found a new passion in life. He still pursued it and worked hard at it. He put his passion into his work and in, was persistent about it, and it showed because he ended up creating the first personal computer in which he led to the development of many other computer companies.